Hi everyone and welcome to Dom Designs. In today's video, we are going to dive into the world of Adobe Illustrator. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more Illustrator tutorials. Begin by opening Illustrator. To create a new document, head to the new file button on the left side and click it. Here you can input your artboard dimensions, the color profile and quality. For this example, create a HD artboard of 1920 by 1080 pixels. You can also save your document by going to the File menu and click Save As or use the shortcut Command or Control S. This is the Illustrator workspace. On the left, you can find the Tools panel. On the right, we have panels like Layers, Colors, Gradients and more which help manage your creations. You can hold the spacebar to pan around the artboard. You can also hit Z on your keyboard to activate the zoom tool and zoom in and out of your artboard. The layers panel can be found on the right side of the interface. If you don't find the panel you are looking for, head to the window menu at the top and you can find a list of property panels. Layers allow you to keep your designs organized. You can create a new layer, rename them and even rearrange them however you like. Let me show you how to create basic shapes. From the panel on the left, select the shape tool. You will find options to create rectangles, ellipses, polygons and more. From this panel, select the rectangle tool and by clicking and dragging on the artboard, you can create your shape. If you hold shift on your keyboard, then it will create a perfect square. The same goes when creating ellipses. To create a triangle, select the Polygon tool. Click anywhere on the artboard and input three sides and then press Enter. To select an object, press the letter V on your keyboard. This brings up the selection tool. You can then select your object and move it around your artboard. If you press the letter A on your keyboard, you will activate the Direct Selection tool. This tool allows you to select points to manipulate them and it also allows you to round off object corners like in this example. With the shapes created, you can assign color fill and color to the strokes. By selecting the shape, you can head to the color menu and select a color from your swatches to fill. By pressing Shift X on your keyboard, you can switch between fill and stroke. You can give your shape a thicker stroke by going to the stroke panel. Here you can play around with the thickness, the caps and the corners. The pen tool is used to create shapes and paths. Click to create anchor points and drag to create curves. You can also manipulate the curves later on with the direct selection tool. For a full in-depth tutorial on the pen tool, check out the video link on the top right of this video. To add text, select the type tool from the tools panel on the left. Click on the canvas and start typing. You can edit the font, the size, and more by using the character panel. If you click and drag on the canvas, you will create an area which will automatically be filled in with lorem ipsum text. The type tool also offers options to type on any path and also within any shape area. The Shape Builder tool is a powerhouse feature in Adobe Illustrator. It allows you to combine, subtract, and divide from shapes to create your custom vector graphics. Selecting multiple shapes together, press Shift plus M on your keyboard to activate the Shape Builder tool. With this tool selected, simply click and drag over gray areas to combine the shapes together. 
to subtract shapes, hold down Alt for Windows or Option for Mac, and click or drag over the areas to delete them. The eyedropper tool allows you to sample strokes, colors, or any other attributes from one object to another quickly. Activate the tool by pressing the letter I on your keyboard. To sample a color and stroke from this shape to the other, select a new shape and with the eyedropper, click on the other shapes. The gradient tool allows you to apply color transitions to objects or shapes. Select any object and head to the gradient panel. You have the option to have a linear gradient, a rounded gradient, or a freeform gradient. Once you select one, you can press the letter G on your keyboard. You will see a gradient line pop up where you can manipulate the gradient however you like. For a full gradient tool tutorial video, check out the video link on the top right of your screen. And this is the basic overview of Adobe Illustrator for beginners to the program. Please subscribe and drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Cheers everyone!